James Shremko here. Today I'm going to share with you an answer I helped out a member of Superfast Business with on a recent Q&A call, which is what we run every single month inside Superfast Business. The member's question related to having a membership which had an established audience, but it was stuck and it was uh, on a plateau and he wanted to know how can he get juiced up? How can he get more members from where he was at this stable platform? He's just running along at a flat line. So the first thing I would do is I would engineer, where did those members come from? What was the pathway? Turns out most of these members came from a podcast and then they joined the membership, usually via an email. So let's look at all the links in the chain there. Firstly, with the podcast, what content are we publishing and where are we distributing it? So there might be some easy wins by putting that podcast into new networks. Maybe you could add it to Spotify. If you haven't already, you can put it on Stitcher if it's just in iTunes. So get more podcast distribution, upload the podcast to Facebook, put it on YouTube, get it out there. Then once they're on the podcast, how can we put more calls to action to get them to the website or onto the email list? We work on our content upgrades, work on the headlines, make the content upgrades, uh, these are the things that people opt in for, more appealing. If you're just doing a transcription, then you've got some quick wins adding a cheat sheet or a checklist or a fast start guide. Then we wanna make sure that on our website, we're prominently having a call to action, high contrast buttons, using software that makes it easy for people to just put an email, not requiring a first name or a phone number or extra details to get low friction. Use your navigation on your website to see of all the episodes you have, which episodes get the most opt-ins and optimize your navigation so your sidebar is feeding people to those episodes. Also, consider using a little bar across the top of the website. Uh, some people call it a hello bar, but that piece of real estate is a good place to point people to your highest converting episode. On superfastbusiness.com, when you go and visit there, at this time, there is a little red message there and it prompts people to find out if they could make $100,000 per month. When we put that opt-in, we got a lot more opt-ins. Now, the heavy lifting in my business uh, with a membership is very similar to my customers. The email is where the sale is being done. So I want people to opt in. So we've increased our syndication of the podcast. We're tuning better podcast episodes by having a look at our back catalog and seeing which ones get the most downloads and making more content like that. We're now making sure the site's optimized to capture the emails. And now in our emails, we should write the subject lines and see if we can change the emails to have them generate more sales. And one thing that I did with my own membership that worked really well is significantly beef up the card abandonment sequence. I'm not talking about one email saying, hey, looks like you left something in the card. I'm talking about a 60 day program. And I mapped it out, wrote plenty of emails, and then I published this information for members of Superfast Business. They've been plugging that into their business and I had some guy come up to me at a local meetup recently and he said, that card abandonment sequence, I've been plugging that in to all of my customers' websites and it's worked every single time. So you could expect a big gain from that. Also, it's worth surveying your members. Find out why they joined and what they love about the membership so you can change the copy and feature that more prominently in your messaging, both on the emails and the sales letter. I recently tuned up the sales page for Superfast Business and it made a big difference in the quality of member I'm attracting and also the conversions. So there you go, there's a few ideas for you just to get started. I have some more thoughts on the matter and I put the rest of those in the Q&A call, which we actually recorded and is inside the membership. Uh, but a big clue here is identifying who has your customer and where you can go and dangle the right content in front of them to get a lot more people just like the members you've got inside your membership. So if you have a membership and it's stalled, or you've got a group and it's stalled, try doing some of these techniques and see if you can lift your results. I welcome your questions and comments right where this video is. I do respond to them. I'm James Shramko. This is superfastbusiness.com.